What's up guys, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to be showing you a tutorial on how to mine Ethereum using your desktop PC or gaming PC. If you don't know what Ethereum is, basically it's a cryptocurrency similar to Bitcoin, but it's also um, different than Bitcoin in a lot of ways. If you'd like to read up more on the details of Ethereum, I will provide some links in the description for you to read up on, um, but otherwise, Everything I show in this video is going to be totally free. Um, it shouldn't cost you anything to start mining, and it's also surprisingly simple. And with the way that Ethereum has been kind of going up in price lately, and cryptocurrency is a really popular topic, this could be a, a nice way to earn, you know, some extra cash or gas money. But with all that out of the way, guys, let's just get started. So step one is just to make sure that you have a graphics card that will be effective enough to mine. So this typically means that you're going to need at least two gigabytes of video RAM. Uh, VRAM is different than normal RAM uh, for a computer. And if you're not sure how many gigabytes of VRAM your graphics card has, um, what you can do is just type in the Windows search bar DXDIAG and hit enter. And then once this pops up, you can just click the display tab and it'll show you what graphics card you're running. Um, and then right here is the display memory VRAM and it shows it in megabytes. So uh, 4058 is basically four gigabytes. If you just look at this uh, thousand mark, this number here uh, can basically tell you how many gigabytes you have. So I have four gigs obviously, which is plenty enough to mine. Um, and if you only have two gigabytes, you're going to have to set up uh, the program a little bit differently, but it's not a big deal and we will get into that later in the video. You'll also want to make sure that you have the latest drivers and I'm running an NVIDIA card. Um, I'm running a 970, so obviously I would find that in here and pick the operating system. I have Windows 10 64-bit, uh, search for those and then uh, just download them and make sure they are installed on your computer. And after those have been installed, the next thing you need to do is just right click on your desktop, click NVIDIA control panel, and then under 3D settings and manage 3D settings, make sure that you have uh, this thing right here, optimize for compute performance, make sure that this is turned on. Step two is that you're gonna set up a wallet and this acts similar in the way that a physical wallet will hold uh, cash money, um, a digital wallet, has, gives you a unique ID which you can use to store your Ethereum. And there's a few different ways of going about this. I currently use Coinbase, and this is one of the most popular ways uh, that people buy and sell Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, and Litecoin. Um, it's a San Francisco-based company, and I think they came out about five years ago, so they're pretty reputable. But most people would actually recommend downloading a wallet to your computer or actually buying a uh, physical hardware wallet which you can find over on Amazon and other sites and this is mostly just a safety precaution um, you know if you happen to store your cryptocurrency online and that was ever hacked or the website happened to be shut down there's the potential for you to lose um, all that cryptocurrency uh, so keeping it stored locally is what is most recommended but like I said I'm using Coinbase's wallet and I'm not too worried about it. So if you're using Coinbase like me, um, the way that you get a wallet address is uh, once you've created an account, you want to click over on the tools section and then in addresses, uh, you have obviously different options for uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum or Litecoin wallets. Click on your Ethereum wallet uh, and then you can create a new address uh, over here and it'll generate a long series of letters and numbers and that uh, text right there is going to be your address. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure to copy that because we're gonna to need to paste it in later. The next step is gonna be downloading the actual software for mining. Uh, so I provided a link in the description to this website which has a few different miners on it but the one that I'm using, um, you actually have to scroll down a little bit and it's called Genoil. And all you do is basically click the download button right here and it should download pretty quickly. After it's downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to extract the file somewhere. I've already done that obviously. Um, and then 
The next thing that you want to do is open up a text document, um, but I've already started one here. So these lines of text, uh, which are in the description for you to copy and paste over, are going to be what you have in your text file. Uh, but if you only have two gigabytes of video RAM, then you will want to use these three lines that I've highlighted down here. Um, so there's going to be a few things that you need to fill out here. Uh, right here, your address uh, from the address we copied earlier over on Coinbase or wherever you're storing your address at. Um, copy that and paste it into this location here. Um, and then your worker and your email are completely optional. This is just to keep track of like what machines you have, uh, how much they're mining. Let's say you have two desktops, um, one upstairs, one downstairs. We'll say upstairs desk, uh, your email. You can put in your email for them to send you alerts. But uh, as you'll see later, there's a place you can go to monitor how well you're doing uh, mining wise, how much you're mining, what your hashing rate is and stuff like that. And uh, in that place, it breaks it down like which worker is doing uh, which amount of work. So you can, you know, if you're testing out two different graphics cards to see which one is more efficient or something, uh, you can tell by naming um, the workers, you know, graphics card one, graphics card two, stuff like that. But again, this part is optional to fill out, but you definitely have to put in um, your address or otherwise you will not receive any Ethereum. Another thing that you want to do um, is in this place here where it says EU1. Uh, if you're in Europe, this might work fine. Otherwise, you might need to change it to EU2. Um, if you're in Asia, they have Asia 1, and then US East Coast, US West Coast. Let's say I'm on the US East Coast, just to show you how to put it in. Just copy and paste, and just like that, um, you obviously just want to pick the server location that is going to be closest to you. And another thing to mention is if you're mining with your CPU and not your graphics card, um, this will probably take a really long time and I think it's usually not worth it, but it's possible to do. So if you want to do that, uh, where it shows this dash G here, just change that to a capital dash C. Um, but obviously I'm just using the standard uh, graphics card way of mining. And then down here, like I said, if you have two gigabytes of VRAM, you will want to put only this um, within your text file. And then obviously you have to fill out your wallet address, your worker name, email, uh, and all that stuff. Well, the worker name and email are optional, but your wallet address you will have to fill out. One other thing that I should mention is that um, picking your mining pool uh, matters. I'm using a service called NanoPool, and uh, I think they take like a 1% cut and then they will pay you every time you reach 0.2 ethereum there's different uh you know strengths and benefits to various mining pools and i will throw a link in the description to some different ones if you want to compare for yourself um, but nano pool is pretty easy uh, but otherwise you would change uh, this region right here to whatever uh, mining pool you're using and then i recommend you save this um, into the folder uh, where you have extracted everything. So for me, that's in here. Um, and a very important thing, make sure you save this as start.bat. Um, that's going to be very important so you're able to actually run the program. You don't want to save it as a normal text file. So after you've saved your start.bat file, um, I recommend creating a shortcut uh, just so you can easily access it on your desktop like I have here. Um, but then all you have to do to run it is double click and it'll start going and you'll be good to go. Um, the only thing that I should mention is that you can't really run any other programs or anything while this is happening because it's so performance intensive. Uh, so when you're running this, you need to make sure your computer uh, can be dedicated to mining at the current time. Um, but as you can see here, it'll show your uh, hash rate, um, mine jumps between uh, 1033 and 15 something, but uh, it, it gets the idea across. Um, but to close it, you simply just X out or you can hit uh, Control C uh, and then Y to uh, terminate the batching job. And then if you want to check how well you're doing, um, I will throw a link in the description below. If you're using NanoPool, this is how you can check um, your stats and everything. Uh, basically, you just 
put your address, your wallet address into the search bar and it'll show up with your account details. Um, I've only had my PC mining for, uh, you know, basically one night's worth and that includes uh, two power outages, which I don't know how long they lasted. Um, but it's, it's neat, so it shows you, uh, you know, your average hash rate for the last six hours, um, current calculated hash rate if you're running it at the current time, nice little graph here of your performance, um, your Ethereum balance, and then at the bottom they have, you know, your workers, whatever you name them, uh, how much they're sharing, their rating, hash rate, things like that. Also shows your payments, and I obviously don't have any because you need to reach 0.2 um, Ethereum before they do their payments. Got a calculator on here, how much you're making per minute, hour, week, month, approximately, and stuff like that. Um, shares and all that, but yeah, uh, it's really, really simple to set this up, guys. I recommend anyone with a gaming PC to do it just for fun and just to, you know, maybe make a few extra bucks, see how far Ethereum goes um, in its price. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one, guys. If I helped you out, please let me know in the comments below or by liking and subscribing.